Hey guys, it's Bonnie Glam. I am back with another video finally. But I got this bad boy today, the iPhone 11. So I really wanted to do a box opening for you guys. See the three little lenses there. And um, this is the box. Yeah, there's the box. So let me go ahead and open this. Here's the phone. Looks a little covering over it. Hmm. It's white. The three little lenses on the back. One, two, three. Take this. Um, let me turn it on, of course. How do I turn this on? Is it different? No, it's the same. Okay. So that's coming on now. No wait for that. Let's go through the box. So there's the little so-called instructions that nobody reads. Throw that to the side. There are the headphones that nobody really uses. And now here is this. This is interesting. It's different. It's not a regular USB. It looks kind of like them Android USB things. So, what's sucky about that is that you can't use your charger for another port. So, is it a different charger? Nope. Same charger. Same little thingy that goes inside of the phone. However, that part goes into the port, the little box. So, put that in there. And yeah, so plug it in with that. I mean, if you have this phone, you probably have other iPhone chargers laying around anyway. So, I don't think it's too much of a big deal. But it's the same iPhone charger that goes into the phone as the others so you'll be good um yeah it looks like a little Android thing to me but what else I'm just glad that it has the same charger because I have like 10 of those chargers all through the house Yep. Okay. Let's get to the home screen here. So this is the home screen. Doesn't look any different than the XS Max that I just had. Looks actually very much the same. Um, apps look the same. Size is the same. Mm. Yeah, no different. There's the camera. What should I take a picture of? Take this plastic off, see how really good it looks. Let's 
looking all around at everything. And it is very, very clear. Should I take a picture of this box? Hold on, that's video. Let's do a photo. Let's see how that looks. Mm, that sucks. No, let's use something else. Yeah, my coral water bottle. Let's try that. Look how clear that is, y'all. You can see everything. Yeah, that's like super clear. It's crazy how clear it is actually, like for real. Thumbnail, thumbnail. Maybe. This thumbnail? Mm, nah. Maybe this. Maybe we use that as a thumbnail. I'm not sure. Maybe that. I don't know. Anyways, I'm going to give me some type of thumbnail out of this video. But... Let's just look at this camera here. So what is the difference? There's those little buttons, 0.5, 1x, and 2. Hmm. So I brought it closer. This is zoom. The 0.51x and 2 are zooms. Let me take a picture of my little tripod here. It's a little leg. Look how clear that is. You can even see the lint that's on the leg, and I cannot see the lint right now, like while I'm looking at it. But on the picture, you can see everything. Look how that, look, I mean, can you see how clear that is? That's super clear. And it like focuses in on what you're trying to take a picture of and kind of brings everything back like out of focus a little bit. So it makes the picture look really good. Now, all these other little buttons, I don't know. How do I get back there? Hmm. What happened? Where'd it go? Oh, it's down there. That's like a brightness contrast and all that, I believe. Flash. There's the timer. No, there's the timer. Slash zoom. That's your filters. That one, I don't know what that is. figure it out. I gotta play with this y'all. So 
So basically, I mean, the phone is the just like really the same as the XS Max, except for the camera. Now, Sprint did tell me today that there is something different with the screen. I don't know what they mean. I was so ready to just get out of there. I was there forever. But, um, I don't know. The only reason I see is the camera. And that's the only reason why I got it. Because of YouTube and, you know, video taking and picture taking and all that. It's the only reason why I just had to have this phone. So I am going to play around with it, like, for the next few days. And I'm going to have to come back with a review of the iPhone 11 with the three lenses. Because I have not done anything with it. I haven't done anything with it, guys. So. I don't know what that is. I was just looking at the apps and trying to see if there's anything different. I just really don't see anything different. So it's like, hmm. But if you are a picture person, a camera person, like I would say you might want to get it. But I'm not going to full-fledged say get it because I have not played around with it yet. I do like the couple of pictures that I took with it. However, we need to see if it's worth the money. All right, guys. Love you. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned. Bye.